Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss in brief about the caustic embrittlement. Caustic embrittlement is a type of boiler trouble. This boiler trouble is mainly due to the presence of soda in the boiler water. Soda means it is the caustic soda. So, caustic embrittlement takes place due to the presence of sodium carbonate in boiler water. In general, Hard water can be softened by using lime and soda. So, sometimes soda will be present in the free state in boiler water and that sodium carbonate is responsible for caustic embrittlement. Let us see what happens when soda is present in the boiler water. Especially if soda is present in the boiler water especially in the boiler the water will be boiled continuously so at high temperatures this sodium carbonate reacts with water and leads to the formation of sodium hydroxide so due to the presence of sodium carbonate in boiler water it results in the formation of sodium hydroxide. It is an alkali. So, due to the presence of alkali, that is sodium hydroxide, it is capable of dissolving the boiler material. So, let us consider the boiler. So, let us suppose it is the boiler and it consists of small hair cracks. So, during the boiling process, what happens? Water will reach high temperatures and this water is containing sodium hydroxide. So, these hair cracks will have capillary action with the result. Because of the capillary action of these hair cracks, the alkali will enter into those hair cracks. Slowly at the hair cracks, this alkali will react with the boiler material. So, here iron is the boiler material. So, because of the capillary action of the hair cracks present on the boiler material, the sodium hydroxide will enter into those hair cracks and retain for the long time with the result. It reacts with the boiler material. That means it reacts with the alkali and results in the formation of sodium ferroate. So, sodium hydroxide reacts with iron and results in the formation of sodium ferroate. And this sodium ferroate readily dissolves in water and thus it is again responsible for the formation of more and more alkali along with the formation of oxides of iron. So, this sodium ferrate is soluble in water and results in the formation of oxides of iron along with the formation of alkali. So, here there is possibility for the formation of more amount of alkali and hence it propagates the dissolution of iron and thus it may cause embrittlement of the boiler material and the whole process is called as caustic embrittlement. 
so because of the formation of sodium ferrate it leads to the formation of more and more alkali again this alkali reacts with the boiler material with the result it causes caustic embrittlement so for that purpose we must know how to prevent caustic embrittlement so especially caustic embrittlement is a type of boiler trouble so it must be prevented that can be prevented either by using sodium phosphate instead of using sodium carbonate for the softening of water so it's better to use sodium phosphate instead of sodium carbonate for the softening of water then we can prevent caustic embrittlement in other words we can also add substances like tannin or lignin and these substances are capable of blocking the hair cracks present on the walls of the boiler material so they gets absorbed on the hair cracks and hence prevent caustic embrittlement at the same time we can also use sodium sulfate it is also capable of blocking the hair cracks and thus capable of preventing caustic embrittlement if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching have a nice day